next we go to Nathaniel Donnett. Um, he's from Houston, Texas. Um, he attended Texas Southern University and was recently written up by the press as one of the best in Houston Fine Art Fair about a month and a half ago. So uh, one thing that's very kind of trademark of his artwork is the integration of paper bags. And that is from the Bound Paper Bag Fest. And what he, co he constantly will have a subtext of both racism and colorism addressed in his artwork. Um, Queen Bee and the Bee Stands for Inciting My Own Checks is um, <laughs> an artwork that has gotten a lot of attention. Um, I'll first read his statement, um, and then uh, I'll just add in a few things he told me when I saw him in Houston about six weeks ago that supplement that. So it's in response to uh, the story of the Supper of Emmas, which is this piece created uh, circa 1530 to 1540. Um, the story is an interesting one. Again, this is his voice, let me clarify. Um, where two disciples speak and eat with Jesus before he vanishes. What isn't seen is a female perspective, yet it is females who saw the angels that initiated the conversations for the disciples to visit Jesus' tomb. In my painting, I am to render a female's perspective, or what I imagine to be a female's perspective, while simultaneously questioning why the women are not depicted. Female empowerment, motherhood, and the idea of the queen are signified through time points. There is an assumption of domesticity regarding the central figure, but it is an illusion. The central figure may not be what the viewer thinks, and the places the viewer and the space to question their assumptions. Queen Bee's head shape is in reference to the Queen Mother sculpture and matriarchs of the Venet in Nigeria. So some supplementary information that he gave me um, a few weeks ago is this background drawing here is actually a Project Row Houses, which is an immensely successful um, social program in Houston, Texas. I believe there have been a number of programs that have been launched off that model, and it's based toward women, it's based toward um, art, it has a, an empowerment um, base to it, which has been immensely successful. So he said, although this female figure appears to be subservient initially because she is cleaning, in fact, she's gone full circle. Um, and she is the landowner. She is the landlady. Hence the reason the title is that she's been signing her own checks. So it is um, addressing, again, female empowerment and the absence of female imagery um, in Renaissance art. And there, again, you see the uh, allegorical overlap of the two tables. Um, and he is, again, questioning where are the women in, in Renaissance paintings. 